All right, now we're into syllabus content 5.3. Specifically, we're gonna look at this section here. Area of a triangle formula equals half AB sine C. Well, that's not what we normally think of the area of a triangle as. Normally, we think of area of a triangle as area is equal to half of the base times the height. Well, if I look over at this triangle, I could say that the base is 12, but I don't know what the height is. I would have to put in a line perpendicular down from B to make my height. So I could say that my height here is X, my base would be 12, so let's fill in what we know. 12, and then my height would be X. So let's figure out what X is. Well, if I look, I have a right triangle. I do not know that this side is 10, so that means that these two bits have not divided the 12 in half. I don't know how they've been divided, but it's not in half. So let's look just at this right triangle. I'll call this uh, point down here D. So if I draw a right triangle, then I could say that this is point B, this is point C, that was my point D. I don't know how long this is, but I know that this is 35, and I know that this over here is 10, and X is what I'm missing. So X is opposite the 35, 10 is the hypotenuse, so I could say that I have this separate ratio where sine of 35 is equal to X divided by 10. Opposite of dividing is multiplying, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by 10. So 10 times sine x, sorry, sine 35 equals my x. So that means I can come and replace my x over here. So now my area formula, let me just slide this up a little bit, and I'm gonna slide this over to go with that. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in that my area is half times 12 my whole x was 10 sine of 35. So I could put that all into my calculator. 1 half, 10, or sorry, my first one was 12. It doesn't matter the order. So I could have done the 12 first, 10 sine 35. And my area is about 34.4 square centimeters. Okay, so that's a specific example. In the next example, we're gonna look at the general formula.